Hey guys, I am curling my hair today and I wanted to show you a couple tricks. I will be using Lawn Straightener Titanium Plates. I have hard to curl, hard to straighten hair and that just helps me um, keep it that way and I don't waste my time. I'm also using Texture Sea Salt Spray from Lange and if you use this before you curl, it helps hold it and some of the heat shield. I'll show you how to get a couple different kind of curls. So if you start curling up at the top and you spin it up there and you kind of just keep twisting and twisting, you're gonna get a tighter curl. And if you kind of twist and you pull, it's gonna be a looser, looser curl. I've got my straightened hair in that one, but. See that difference there? Try another one. Grab it. See how loose that one is compared to that other one that's here? I'll do. And then what you can also do is if you want a more of like a wavy beachy curl, you can kind of curl in the middle here and stop about an inch or two and you kind of get that little tiny wave there going. I'm curling today, so I kind of do a little bit of a pull more when I get to the front because I have like the A-line bob and then since I haven't got my hair cut in a while, I pull tight curls in the back um, just so I kind of still get that look and my um, neckline isn't so flipping out as much. And if you've got wispies, you can always redo them to your liking. Kind of add a little bit of both kind of curls in there once I get to the top layer there. Just so it looks a little bit more uniform. I'm going to um, finish curling this part and once I get to the top I will um, hop on and show you the difference between using a straightener and using the wand. Okay, I'm back. So I used sea salt spray and the heat shield already. I, as you can see, I like my hair longer in the front, so I didn't curl as much up here. And then up here, I curled tighter as much as I could because my hair needs a haircut. Um, and now I'm going to show you how the wand compares to using the straightener. What your main concern is when you go to start is that you brush through your hair, there's no tangles in it, and this goes for the straightener as well. You're, and that you're staying on the wand, obviously the part that heats up as much as you can. How you hold it depends. You're gonna get a tighter curl if it's 
horizontal. If it's, oops, if it's more vertical, you're going to get more of a um, looser curl. So this was a vertical right here. And compare that to these ones that are using the straightener. You can tell that it's not as tight. If you're having a hard time keeping a curl, you can hold your curl up until it cools down. And that kind of helps keep its form as well. Trying to be careful because I always burn myself when I'm using a wand for some reason. I'll do a looser one for you guys so you can see that too. I usually use a glove because I will burn myself quite often, especially with my hair being so short. Um, I'm just closer to the barrel constantly. So there is the looser one as I was holding the wand more um, horizontal. And this one is more vertical when you're holding the wand and you get a tighter curl. If you're, you can do a little bit of both. You can run your fingers through it so it becomes a little looser. I've got hair in my eye. Like always. All right. And then I will finish off with the straightener here so you guys can see. See, it's not as tight. Compared to this one. that difference and then over here on this side I've got what I did with the straightener you guys have any questions just shoot me a message thanks